What's up? Let's talk tips for eating on the go when we're short on time and we're just away from our nest. A lot of people struggle and look at this as you know, a challenge or an obstacle. And I'm speaking from experience and we've managed to find a way to stay consistent and stay healthy by building some positive, healthy habits. And I wanna share those with you. There's some easy things that you can do just by having a plan to make it easy for you to continue that momentum so that when you're traveling, you don't get too far away from your health goals. Most travels bring with it fun and exploring. So this isn't a lesson on me teaching you about how to be more restrictive. It's about teaching you to have a game plan so that you can all enjoy yourself and have a little bit more freedom. So first of all, I have a general goal. Even when I'm traveling, I try to get about 150 grams of protein. If you're less active or to give you context, if you are maybe closer to the low 100 pound range, maybe it's 100 grams of protein for a goal. So I try to split that up over three to four meals. But by building the meals and snacks around protein, I know that that's more satiating. I know I'm gonna stay more satisfied. And I'll crave less foods and I'll be closer to hitting my goal and maintaining. I also am trying to limit the highly fat foods. So that's big sauces, fried foods, it's pretty much avoiding those processed foods. I do wanna try delicious foods, but I wanna limit the fats and limit the sugars, especially liquid sugars, because those are a slippery slope and those keep you craving a lot of that junk food and leave you feeling less than favorable, is a nice way to say. But when you focus on the protein, you're gonna eat less overall in most cases, and then you're gonna spend less and it sets you up more for success so you're not craving foods all the time. When it comes to packing for success, whether it's a day trip or for a few days or more, I like to pack some protein or collagen powders in a little bit of a bag so they're easy to travel with. Um, and that could be a plant-based protein. And what I'll do with that is either have a shake or I can add it as like a plus one if I can pick up some yogurt somewhere or add it to a coffee or water or oatmeal or something like that to upgrade the meal so I'm getting closer to my protein goal. Um, I'll also pack some you know, emergency protein bars. I'm not a big fan of eating protein bars. I like to eat things that are more real food, but I'll find some that have less than you know, 15 grams of sugar. Again, protein a goal, trying to find 10 to 15 grams of protein per bar. Something that's sensible with real ingredients. Uh, a few of my favorite options might be you know, RX bars or peak performance bars. Sometimes I'll pack some oats. I like sprouted or gluten-free oats, uh, but very filling, good source of fiber when you're traveling and something that you can mix up in a cup whether you're on an airplane, a bus, or you know, in your car somewhere. Uh, it can be good damage control and you can add that protein to it, maybe some powdered almond or peanut butter to give it some extra flavor, but very easy, very satisfying and filling. And you can call me strange, but I sometimes will pack a can of uh, wild caught mackerel or sometimes sardines. It stays really well, even when I went camping at the Grand Canyon for you know a few days. Uh, that's easy, I can find an avocado and mix it up. It's something that's a good emergency food, high in omega-3s, protein. Again, if it's mixed with something like hot sauce and avocado, it tastes really good and it's better than 99.9% .9 of protein bars that are out there. Now things that I may pick up as soon as I land somewhere or travel somewhere, or just setting myself up for success with something like I might do some hard boiled eggs or if I'm away from home, pick up, you know, a, a rotisserie chicken, ideally, you know, as close to organic or free range and unseasoned as possible. And then I'll get my own seasoning or hot sauce to add to it. It's a good, easy way to make a meal and can feed multiple people for multiple servings. Uh, and then when it comes to eating out, you know, try to do something sensible that you can customize. You know, if you went to a salad bar or taco type of place, a place that you can pick the foods and see them in front of you so you know they're fresh ingredients and avoid the fried stuff, avoid, you know, the heavier fats and sugars and just be sensible. So I hope that was helpful for those of you who can get overwhelmed when it comes to eating out. Uh, remember, it, it all just comes down to consistency and you might eat great Monday through Friday and then the weekend comes and the wheels fall off. Just remember that the weekend makes up for about 30% of what you're doing. So if you're wondering why you're not getting results, gotta be consistent, gotta have that awareness and we can still have fun with it. So hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Keep living a peak performance life.